Senators and Chairman Wyden, members of the committee, uh, my name is Sherm Anderson. I come from a small town in Montana, 3,500 residents, Deer Lodge. My wife and I are small business owners. We own Sun Mountain Lumber and Sun Mountain Logging. This bill is very important to our industry in Montana. In Montana, 61% of the total forested land is on national forests. There are two means of treating our forest, one by mechanical means and one by fire. The mechanical, of course, involves us, what we do for a living. We're in the wood products industry. The other is fire. There's room for both. Fire is an integral part of our ecosystem, and the two must work together. We in the West are watching our forests deteriorate and die from insect and disease, causing serious threat to ca of catastrophic fires that will soon come, destroying not only the resources that we use and enjoy, but also, yes, putting homes and lives in harm's way and at great risk. Our timber under contract currently is located 90% on national or on private forest lands, 7% on state lands, and only 3% on national forest. Remember, we are surrounded in our particular facility within 25 miles, completely surrounded by national forest who own 61% of the forest, and we only have 3% of our total timber base under contract with the forest. This problem comes from over 25 years <coughs> of fighting over the use of our public lands. This out-of-balance use of public lands puts our industry at serious risk of survival. As all of us are well aware of, in Colorado, New Mexico, Arizona, Utah, and Wyoming, where they have totally lost their forest products infrastructure. And now they scramble to try to find means to manage their forests in and around these communities, and they have none. Why is this? Our forest plan is driven by two factors, controversy, and budgets. We cannot manage our forests driven by these two factors. Budget constraints occur when 50% of the total budget is used for fire suppression. This bill solves some of the controversy through extensive co uh, co collaboration by many diverse partnerships throughout the state of Montana. Is everyone happy with the results? No. Does everyone get everything that they want? No. But this bill is a great start. We must try something different because obviously what we have done in the past and what we are now doing is not working. I and the majority of Montanans are convinced that this will work. It simply gives the Forest Service a workable tool to manage our forests and accomplish their management objectives while protecting and creating jobs that are necessary to help manage our pristine national forests, which we all use. Senators, Senator Tester, I can't say enough about your guts in bringing this forward. And I would appreciate and thank you, and I would appreciate due consideration from this committee to look at this seriously for the betterment of our national forests in Montana that we all use. And I thank you for the opportunity and close.